part of our projection of uh, multi-touch uh, tree beautification uh, through the city council. And these are part of uh, the trees we have supplied city council. For instance, we are just outside uh, the Rocky City Market, which is on, uh, on my left the side. And these are the trees. These are Pikas and Benjamina. earlier is Sunday. So you can see the determination of uh, Nairobi City Council in uh, planting trees this, this period, this time, this time round. We are happy. Your name is? My name is Joseph Onyang. And, uh, I think we are able to make Nairobi back from 1970s up to now. We are going to put Nairobi in, the, in a proper way. So I will appreciate the lady who provides us with the trees. And uh, we are still hoping she is going to give us more part of this Good. Thank you so much. Yes, I am Christine Ogare and these are gentlemen from the City Council who have made what we have just seen possible. We have seen more than uh, maybe 30,000 seeds in only a span of about two hours. And uh, these are the two gentlemen and their colleagues here who have made it possible. And I dare say that uh, what Mr. said is really possible. It's no longer a dream. It is a living possibility, a reality that Nairobi can be returned to its former glory of 
the 1970s in Germania. When one, would, when one would fly in those days, one would think you are flying over a jungle. And we are just about to take Nairobi back to that stage. And we are really, really very thankful and really encouraged City Council. to lose heart despite the hard work that they're experiencing uh, to come to water, to carry water. Today is a Sunday as I told you earlier. Today is Sundays all over the world is a holiday. But you can see these people are determined to the work and they are determined to make their city very clean. About holidays or anything. But I'm sure they went to church. Did you? Yeah. They went to church. Yeah? Forester here, Agre. Maybe he can have a watch. And uh, before, before I, I, I knock off, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to congratulate uh, Nairobi City Council, the mayor. Wangari Adamson na ndio mmoja wao wa mwanzilishi wa Mount Touch International. Maadhimuni ya kuanzisha Mount Touch eh, ni kwa malengo haswa ya eh, kubanda miti, ku increase eh, forest cover ya nchi hii. Kwa vile tume tumeelezwa na kuelewa kwamba nchi hii inakabiliwa na uhaba mkubwa sana wa miti ikiwa kwamba sasa hivi eh, eh, 1.7% ya forest cover ambaye ni kwa kweli hata sisi wenyewe tunapaswa tujiulize tukiwa wa Kenya kama mahitaji au malengo ambayo imewekwa na, na, na ya kimataifa ni asilimia kumi na sisi tumeshuka mpaka asilimia moja point saba ye yeah kuna miti gani na vile vile tunapashwa sasa hivi wote tukiwa Kenya watu wazima tunaelewa tumeshaona maathala ya kukata miti na ukosefu haswa wa miti tumeona kwamba mvua sasa hivi hazinyeshi zilivyokuwa zinanyesha chakula kimepungua Aa, tunabaki kuombaomba ambacho ni kitu cha aibu wakati ardhi yetu ina rutuba nzuri na tunajibudu kwa kweli kwa masuala ya kilimo. Kwa maana hii mimi nikiwa nazo tani kama saba hivi za mbegu ya mwarubaine tuna muembe hapa embe za kutoka sehemu mbalimbali ambazo vile vile ni kama tani 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 tisa hivi na vile vile Tuna mti ambao ukikuwa ni mti maridali sana ambao unaitwa mkungu. Pia tuna mbegu za matunda aina mbalimbali za michungwa, mafenese, e, machenza, mapapaye na matunda kutoka inchi mbali mbali. Hapa tunatoka tunataka kwamba inchi yetu iwe inchi isiwe inchi tu ambayo inaattracti eh, watalii kuja kuona mbunga zetu za wanyama tunataka pia iwe inchi ambaye eh, itakuwa na matunda ya kila aina ambayo inakuzwa kote duniani I, iwe changio ya, ya utalii usimbeku unatarajia ya nchi tu Hizi mbegu zimefika hapa zikiwa kama tani na saba hivi hizi ni za mkoa wa Letibari peke yake na ambapo shamba tumepata hapa kutoka kwa watoto wa Leti Mama Steel wametu, wametupa on free lease ekari moja na ambaye tayari tumetatairisha hata nasares zimeshatengenezwa na mvua mwenye azu Mungu ametujalia tumepata sasa hivi tuko kwenye harakati za ku za kumwaga hizi mbegu 
ili zichupukue tupande miti. Miti hii itakapochipukua These are home for the orphans, destitute, and other children in need of, of care and protection. <coughs> this home is under the management of ACK, Nakuru Diocese, and it is under the patronship of uh, the, uh, the Right Reverend Stephen Njehiamwangi. In this home, what we do, we create a home situation for these orphans so that they can have a place which they can call home. Today is a great day to us when we are planting trees here at Lake Nakuru. We are intending actually to plant about 2.7 million trees together with uh, an organization referred to as Mulstach International. So that, that's what we are intending to do so that we can take care of the environment. So today is really a big day to us. You can see all the children are happy and we are ready to plant as many trees as possible. So we are actually asking each one of us to take care of the environment and to conserve it so that we can continue to reap the benefits. God has called us into what we call stewardship, taking care of the environment. We thank God so much for the Mold Touch International uh, for this initiative that they have taken of planting trees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> We move to another one. The children? Go to the children planting one. Moga you might. Hey, hey, hey. 
na miezi saba. Okay. Ni maji inakunywa sana okay. na ikikunywa maji sana inakuwa haraka. Okay. Na tena hii miti tumefanya root pruning mara ine. Mm -hmm. Sasa hatutaki kufanya mara ya tano, tunataka hii mara ya tano tufanye root pruning mahali itaenda kupandwa. Hatutaki kuifanya tena. Tunataka ituondokee sasa. Tupate pesa watulipe msuri, tupate pesa. Ni alobera. Macambia, um, Cordia, among others. And it's a very beautiful area, as you can see, the climate is very good and the, the, the rains are almost. So the only problem we are still having is, like we said earlier, while we were in our Nakuru, Nakuru tree nursery, we still haven't had uh, enough, we still need a lot of funding. As you can see, we haven't paid our workers for quite some time. And also uh, the general public at large are still not sensitive enough in, in, uh, in regards to buying and planting trees. And we are hoping that uh, uh, on the onset of this, this coming rain, because uh, they are only about two weeks away, we are hoping people will come out strongly and support us by buying these trees, and we are hoping to plant at least 30% uh, of what we have within. And uh, we, the organization, uh, Mouse Touch organization, has come up with a quite a noble idea of assisting mothers or women with mental problems who have been experiencing quite a lot of problems here in town, and they have decided and uh, together with them, we have decided to treat them at the, me at the hospital, at the, at the provincial hospital. And then uh, they are ready to follow them up later on, give them something to do, because we believe all the mental problems are manageable. They are treatable, and when such patients are taken care of, they can become quite productive members of the society. So we believe that idea which the Mautaj has come up with, it's quite a good one. And these patients, or these uh, mothers or women, are going to be <laughs> 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 so, 